Your thoughts on the Gordon Hayward signing and the whole deal? Well, I think it's a remarkable contract. You know, four years, $120 million. He's a player who has had success over the years, of course, with uh, Boston. Uh, heck of a shooter. Uh, he's uh, on the flip side of 30 coming up here, so that's always a concern, I think, uh, when you look at players uh, in the NBA. But uh, it's hopefully for a team that has made the playoffs twice over the last decade can, can turn into that signature player they've been wanting here in Charlotte for a long time. It's a fascinating move, Will. Yeah, I've said this. I said it on Kyle Bailey's show the set this morning on the clubhouse. I was like, listen, Pan or, uh, Hornet fans, they're all the same. Hornet fans, you can't complain that the Hornets do nothing and they don't pay anybody. Then they go out and get a guy, probably the best free agent that you're going to get to come to Charlotte. You overpay maybe by a couple mil, but the Pacers were going to shell out some cash as well because this team became better overnight. Wouldn't you agree with that? I think so, absolutely. You know, it's a team, of course, that has lost some players over the years. Uh, they, of course, they lose their superstar with Kimball Walker, and you're looking to rebound and find yourself in a competitive spot. Again, it's a competitive Eastern Conference, as we know. There's a lot of hurdles to climb in terms of getting back into the playoff race. So you got to have a shooter, a guy that can make plays in the intermediate and in the deep part of the court. I think he can do that with uh, LaMelo Ball, one of the better vision players in basketball. It's going to be a dynamic one-two punch, I think. Man, I hope so. It's going to be fun. It's actually, I just want them to play a relevant game down the stretch. <laughs> That's all I want because we're not getting it with the nice. Panthers. We're going to get into that a little bit later. But ESPN obviously came out with their predictions today, and they say the Hornets will finish 11th in the East with 31 wins. Do you think they go over or under 31 wins this season? I think they've got a chance to go over. I really do. I think that with the infusion of talent here, they had to get some – uh, you know, some, some guys that could affect the game, can change the game. Gordon can do that. Now, again, there's a lot of skepticism of his injury past, and, and can he regain that form? We'll have to see. But when, like I said, he and LaMelo together, I think it could be dynamic right off the bat. We'll have to see. I think the wild card here is the rookie. Can he come in and provide that spark, not only in scoring, but in terms of passing distribution that many feel like he can? Uh, I'd say a little over, though. I'd say with a 72-game season, they obviously lose 10 games here. 31 wins is not exactly a remarkable spot to be. So right. if they are not over 31 wins, they bring in LaMelo Ball, who they obviously think is going to be a very good player. Now, whether it takes a couple years or not, that's the question to see. But you bring in Gordon Hayward, you become better overnight, you better get over 31 wins. Because right. if you don't, then it was 120 mil for that's under 31 a wins? a lot of money for mediocrity. So you better hope they get well soon and fast. Well, the good thing is that our friends over with Bring Back the Buzz, they guarantee they will be over 31 wins this season. Wow, they said to screenshot it. So it's been <laughs> screenshotted, boys. So There's the receipt. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I, I, I would guarantee over, but I think we now need to come up with a punishment for the Kent brothers if they fall short or we got to do a big party if they're right. Any suggestions, John? Oh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, it's, it's your court, Will, as far as the festivities go. But, I, you know, they do a great job at the buzz over there. I'm hoping that's the right prediction. I really do. It, it better be the right prediction for the people that are in charge making the decisions because you shell out that money and you go 31 and what would be the math there, 41? Mm. No, friend. That's Not no bueno. Not real good for the money spent, no. No, senor.